In this tutorial, we're going to be using GIMP, which is completely free photo editing software. First off, I'm setting it up here. I'm going to put it into single window mode, which is if I click on Windows, single window mode. It's just easier to work with. Um, we are going to be taking the Obama Hope poster and turning it into a text-based image. Word art is what we're going to be doing. First off, let's make sure the photo fits. We're going to click View and then go to Zoom. And I'm going to use Fit Image in Window. And that will shrink it down to a size where we can see the full image. Now we're going to need to make two copies of the Obama poster. So now there are three copies of the picture, if you notice in the thumbnails. And now I need a plain white layer. So I'm going to click there. And then we need to select white instead of transparent and OK. That layer has been created. I'm going to go ahead and drag it down underneath the three layers of the Obama poster. The final layers we need are the text that we're going to be using to make the uh, word poster, word art. They are in the show more section of this video. So here I am on YouTube. I'm going to copy. I highlight it. I right click on the text and then I click copy. I now go back to the photo and I'm going to uh, I'm going to create our text layer. I'm going to go ahead and hide the posters of Obama. And I need to zoom out a little bit to make sure that text completely covers the image, goes beyond all the corners. Now I select the A, which is the text tool. And again, I make sure the box is a little bit larger than the photo itself is. That looks good. And now I can right click and select paste. I'm going to do that a number of times so we will have enough text to fill the screen or the photo. Once this is full, I'm going to start uh, choosing the text or uh, choosing the font of the text and changing the size. View. I am going to zoom back in. We're going to go to fit image and window again. Now, in order to expand this left side menu, I'm going to get the mouse right on the edge. It turns into those arrows. I click, hold, and drag, and I'm just going to pull the menu out so we can actually see what we're doing. Now, I'm going to select text by clicking on that double A icon. There are many, many, many fonts to choose from. The font I'm going to be going with is what it's labeled here is T W C E N space M T condensed. And if you see, it's the extra bold form of it. And if you notice, the picture has changed. I'm going to adjust the font size to be 24. And I am going to adjust the spacing to have more text on the screen. This is the spacing between lines and I'm going to make it a negative six to make the text closer together and not have such wide gaps. Below that is the spacing between individual letters. I'm also decreasing that by one again just to fill the page with more text. It makes a better quality picture in the end. I am now highlighting all of the text again, right clicking on it, clicking copy, and I'm going to paste that below to make sure that we have full coverage uh, with the text. Text covers the entire photo area. I'm now going to make three duplicates of the text, as you can see there. And then I'm going to pull them up to each be next to an Obama poster. So we have three thumbnails of text, three thumbnails of the poster. I'm going to turn the eyes off on the text and enable the Obama poster. I then select, if you notice how it's highlighted in blue, the text layer before 
Once I've selected the text layer, I go over to the text tool, the A, and I click back on the poster. We are now going to change the color of our text. I click on the color, and then I'm going to use that eyedropper tool right there that I'm clicking on. This will give us any color that I select. I'm using his shirt. I clicked on his shirt, and now it gives us the exact color of that. And I'm going to click OK. And the font now matches his shirt. So if you notice, you can no longer see words over his shirt and all the, uh, the blue areas that match that color in the photo, which is what we want. Once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and pull this Obama poster thumbnail above the text thumbnail. I'm now going to use the color selection tool. We want to click the area or the color that we had just used. Now I am going to go up to select invert and I can now go ahead and delete that Obama Hope poster. If you notice, the highlighted or uh, the outlined area remains. So what we're going to do with that now is go up to Edit, and we're going to select Clear, which is about midway down the menu. Once we do this, hopefully, Yes, only the areas that matched the color of the shirt, that blue color, remain. Excellent. Now we're going to select None, and we want to go ahead and move on to the next color. So we're going to put the eye on that poster and click the eye to be able to view the text as well. We're going to repeat the same process here. Make sure you have highlighted the text layer with that blue. I'm now going to select the text selection tool and click on the text. We're going to change the color again. I'm going to use the eyedropper again. And I selected the red color and OK. And once again, you can no longer see the text over the matching red area. I'm going to drag the text layer below the poster layer. I am once again going to use the color selection tool. Select that red color. I now will need to select and invert again. And at this point, we can now again delete this Obama poster. The outline does remain. So now we can do edit and clear. And now only the red that areas that matched on the original photo remain. We just have one more color left to do, the lighter blue color. I'm going to enable the eye on both of those. I do have the text layer selected. Same process. I use the A, click on the text. I'm now changing the color. I use the eyedropper, click on the blue section that we have not done yet, and the text is changed to that color. Again, once again, I'll be dragging the Obama poster above the actual text. I'm going to select the color selection tool. I click on it. Now I'm going to click select invert. I can now delete that Obama poster. The outline remains, so I can now use edit clear. And that is what we're hoping for. And now we can view it all together. So now we have the Obama Hope poster um, done using words from his actual speeches.